Hello and welcome to a new edition of Kaleidoscope on Channels Television. Thank you so much for joining us on the program. I'm Anne Wawadu. On Kaleidoscope today, we speak with the founder and CEO of TESAS, a company that creates a platform for efficient learning by educators and learners, Osai Izedome. Once again, welcome to Kaleidoscope. Let's tell you about TESAS, which is an organization providing an effective learning solution for children, parents, and teachers. TESAS is an organization that provides a platform where educators and learners engage seamlessly and efficiently with the aim of facilitating a fun and effective learning experience via the deployment of technology and the adoption of local culture and dialects by providing high-quality video tutorials from Africa's best teachers that explain foundational concepts with delivering English and major local languages to deepen understanding. There are three articles. The app features high-quality video tutorials, local language classes, entrance examination preparation, live online classes and much more. The organization believes that education holds the key to transformational growth in Africa and understanding the difficult concepts at an early age will drive superior academic performance as a child progresses to higher classes. With a determination to add value to the education sector, TESAS is on a mission to serve several communities across Africa. I spoke to the founder and CEO of TESAS, Osai Izedome, to find out how the platform works, its impact so far, and the initiatives that TESAS has carried out to help society since inception. Let's begin with what inspired the creation of TESAS. Thank you, Anne. That's a really great question. Um, TESIS was really born out of our desire to liberalize access to quality education. Uh, when you look across Africa today, right, the differentiating factor between children who eventually become people in the society that we want to reckon with, if you look deeper, boils down to the quality of their early childhood education. We believe very strongly that access to early childhood education is that deciding factor and we wanted to really enable the liberalization of early childhood education to everyone, irrespective of their economic background, whether they were privileged or not privileged. Um, and one of the major impediments to access is really economic. Today, the best schools in the country are very expensive, as many people know. Um, so we thought about it and said, you know, the only way we can enhance access is by making sure that the, the, the access is not impeded by their economic background, the amount of money their parents have. And one way we can leapfrog that hurdle is to apply technology. And that is where TESAS comes in. With technology, we can give them access to the same quality teachers that the best schools can provide. Because what we've done is to bring the best teachers we can find, bring them into our studios, give them curriculum aligned content, that they present to these children, infuse it with a lot of animation to enhance engagement and deliver it at a fraction of the cost that they would otherwise have to pay if they were attending some of the top schools. So we believe that that's one way to enable access to good, high quality education and will ultimately deliver better outcomes for these children as they go on in life. According to you, education holds the key to transformational growth in Africa. But I mean, anyone will ask, how is this even possible when Africa, especially Nigeria, has the highest number of out-of-school children in the world? You're right. I mean, statistics indicate that in Nigeria alone, we have over 18 million children out of school. And that is completely unacceptable. That is a situation that puts us in a very bad stead when you look at the future of this country. But technology still holds the best promise to address this. If you look at most of these children that are out of school, the drivers for their being out of school are related to their economic background, the security architecture around where they live. You and I know very much that many parts of the North today have been impacted by terrorism, bandits, that is really impeding access to the structural um, system of education. With technology, we can leapfrog that. 
a lot of these kids can continue their education from their homes. A child can have access to a tablet. With that tablet and internet service, with the TSAS app, they can continue their entire curriculum, continue their learning journey that will prepare them uh, for a better future. We've got to do that because some parts of Africa today, it is just not possible for the physical educational structures to thrive, not with the level of insecurity and instability that we see. More so, a lot of these children, even in stable environments, do not have the economic wherewithal to get access to quality education. So one way to leapfrog is to use technology to overcome these physical barriers, such as insecurity and other destabilizing factors across those regions and where we have most of the out-of-school students. So let's talk about the method of using ICT to train children. From your experience and since you started this, how does this work and what impact has it made so far? Well, when you look at a child's development, you quickly understand that the way they interact with technology is very different from the way an adult interacts with technology. If you look at children that play video games or that do other kind of you know, gamified events that involve technology, sometimes what would take an adult three days, four days to understand, a child in four minutes can fiddle around with it and understand exactly how that works. That tells us something. That gives us a significant opportunity to transform the learning landscape because with technology, we can really bring the child into education drive engagement and ensure that that child is prepared for the current global environment. We're living in a global village. A child in Nigeria, 15 years from now, will be competing for the same jobs that a child living in China or America is, living, is, is competing for. So we need to do something to prepare them for that future and giving them early access to digital education through technology platforms like TESAS is one of the surest ways to ensure that they are truly ready for that future. I recall as a child, I'm sure I'm not the only one who ever had this experience, one or two subjects were not so much fun while growing up, especially when you have to meet different types of teachers. But now my question will be that, how have you been able to facilitate a fun and effective learning experience for children or learners through the use of technology? So that's one of the things that stands us out at TESAS. We designed our products from day one to be super engaging and fun. Now, we all know that children never really forget when they watch cartoons. <laughs> Some of the cartoons I watched when I was seven, eight years old, I can still tell you line for line how it played out. We have taken that aspect of a child's mental capacity and infused all of that learning into how we designed the TESAS app. So for example, our videos, even though they are, they are tutor led, we've infused a lot of animations and indigenous adaptations so that the child can really relate with what they're watching. It is fun, it's full of stories, a lot of singing and dancing. So the child is learning without necessarily even knowing that they are learning because they're having so much fun. The data that we have from our focus group when we're testing and doing the beta test for, for, for TESAS blew us away. We did very focus group analysis to check the level of um, memorization and remembrance when we give them videos without animations and videos that we now deliver through the TSS app that were infused with animations. We found a 38% increase in the ability to remember what they were taught when the videos came with a lot of animations. So that is one of the things that we deliver through the TSS app. A high level of engagement, fun, things that really make the child want to continue the learning process because of the environment, the learning, the technology, the way we structure the app, the gamification. Those are things that you know, our team are truly committed to deliver through the TSS app. From the results you have gotten so far, how can understanding the difficult concepts of an early stage drive superior academic excellence in any child? That's a really great question. For us, one of the reasons why we focused on the lower years of education is because we understand that the foundational years, particularly in primary school, are so critical to how a child evolves. Now, when you look at mathematics, a child that does not understand algebra will find it very, very difficult 
to handle even more difficult concepts as they move into secondary school, or even have to handle further maths and engineering maths. So we focus very intently on making sure that the foundational concepts are delivered in a fun and engaging manner. We've seen very good results. We've seen children, particularly the girl child, that otherwise tend to move away from science and maths because they see it as being complex and they struggle with those foundational concepts. By the time we make it fun, we see that those same students now want to handle the subjects and a bit more frequently, they get more warmed up to the subjects. And ultimately, if we sustain this path and we continue to increase the engagement and the likability right, of these courses, you will see that very soon we will build a huge army of children who believe that they can tackle mathematics, who believe and are comfortable you know, taking on science subjects because that is where the transformation of this country, Nigeria and even Africa lies. Our ability to drive you know, the, the, the love for science and maths, very similar to the way India has evolved. Today we see India making a lot of technological breakthroughs. It is founded on a large army of people who believe and enjoy engaging with maths and science. Without that, we cannot build a technological powerhouse that would drive our development in Africa. It's just not going to happen. I see that TSAS doesn't only provide a platform for learners, it also provides a platform for educators to engage seamlessly and efficiently to achieve the desired result. Talk to us about it and how it works. And that's, that, that's a really exciting part of our work. Now, we are focused on developing the total child. And one of the ways we can ensure that we collaborate effectively with schools to develop the total child is to ensure that educators themselves are getting top quality education. It might sound funny that we're having to educate educators, but the reality is developing a child is not just the academic aspect. You've also got to take care of the social emotional learning. You've got to take care of the culture in the school, the learning environment. Oftentimes we find that some of our educators struggle with those other aspects. And that is why we've partnered with the world's largest leadership organization, Franklin Covey, to bring the Leader in Me program to Nigerian schools. Um, we believe that through the Leader in Me program, we can focus on the whole school transformation and really drive transformative learning environments for children. But to do that, we start by training the educators. So the Leader in Me program actually focuses on training the administrators, the educators, creating a culture and a transformative environment within the school. So that requires us to collaborate very strongly with schools. And that program is something that we're very excited about. We are rolling it out as we speak. We've got the Principal Academy coming up on the 8th and the 9th of August in Lagos. And we've got many more sessions planned around the country that would bring in a lot of administrators, principals, head teachers, and really give them 21st century learning methods that can truly transform um, the development of the whole child across schools in Nigeria. So in this age and time, when we know that kids are very adventurous, they're inquisitive, they want to know everything about the internet, how, does the ed how do the educators or the teachers or even the parents monitor what their kids watch? One of the things we designed into our product, the TSAS Education app, uh, was a companion app for parents. It's called the TSAS Education app for parents. Now, it is linked to the main TSAS education app, and what it essentially does is it gives the parents an ability to get clear insight into what their children are doing on the TSAS education app. Plus, on the TSAS education app, after a suite of videos have been watched by the child, they have to take a test and practice question. The results from those test and practice questions are fed directly to the parent app, so the parent can get a very clear insight into areas of challenges for the child, areas where the child has gaps, and they can go back and ask the child to rewatch those videos, and it can really enable deliberate parents to be involved in the development of their child's educational capabilities. Now, because in school, you hear your child is struggling, but when you, when you see it real time, that your child is taking a test and practice question on the app, and is not doing particularly well around some very difficult concepts, and that will really help parents that are deliberate and focused on giving their children a great education to be more involved and help the child to move ahead very quickly around those areas where they have challenges. 
We'll still have more for you on the education sector in Nigeria, but that's in a moment when we return. Welcome back. You're still watching Kaleidoscope on Channels Television. And we still have the founder and CEO of TESAS, Osai Izedomen. Let's find out more. Let's talk about the corporate social responsibility of TESAS. What value have you added to society since you started this business? From day one, as we set up TESAS, our vision was to be an impact-driven organization. And that is why we rolled out the TESAS Donate Program. That's a core CSR initiative. Um, and with the TESAS Donate Program, what we aim to do is to encourage individuals that have used smart devices, tablets, smartphones um, that are damaged or that they no longer use uh, to donate it to us. We would refurbish it, rekit it, make it brand new, and then infuse it with our own educational content and deliver those devices for free to underprivileged children, orphanages, displaced people's homes. So we've launched the TESAS Donate program fully now. Uh, just a couple of weeks ago, we had the Living Sense orphanage here in Lagos, and we're reaching out to so many other orphanages across Nigeria, delivering hundreds of tablets to children who otherwise would never have had access to quality digital education. So it's something we're really excited about. When you think about it, that children in some displaced people's camps today have their education completely interrupted. With this TESAS Donate program, we're bringing education to their doorsteps. We not only give them the tablets, we give them access to the internet, so we give them routers. We give them routers with internet completely paid for, internet access paid for for an entire year, right? And we continue to follow up with our own tutors who would visit these camps, visit these underprivileged homes, and ensure that the child's learning journey is moving along very smoothly. Plus, with the TESA's parent app, our own tutors will continue to monitor the child remotely to ensure that they are following through on their educational commitments, and in areas of difficulties, we can intervene and support them. So it's a really robust CSR activity. Um, the entire team at TESAS is fully involved. Our tutors, you know, everyone at TESAS, myself, you know, I visit some orphanages myself to provide in-person tutoring along with the technological support through the devices that we provide. And we want to use this opportunity to encourage everyone out there that's got, you know, used devices, tablets, phones, that they're no longer using, it's just lying around in the house. Donate it to TESAS. Go to TESAS.com, click on Donate Devices, give it to us, we'll refurbish it, we'll put our educational content, curriculum-aligned educational content, and deliver it for free to children across Nigeria who otherwise will not have access to quality education. And one of the things we have planned in the coming months is to reach out to IDPs, particularly IDPs in the northern part of the country. We all know the challenges those IDPs are facing. They're living in very difficult conditions, and young children through no fault of, our, of theirs, have their education completely truncated. We believe that with the TESAS Donate program, we can leapfrog some of those challenges and get them back on the track uh, to get properly educated. So we're, having, we're, we're developing that plan, and we've already started reaching out to some IDP camps, um, and we think that in the coming months, we would have selected a few of those camps that we'll work with closely to bring thousands of children back in on, on their educational journey and give them an opportunity to really, really develop themselves. Something caught my attention though, I mean, you deploy or adopt local culture and dialects in your apps to teach these children. We see a lot of children do not even speak their local dialect. How did you come about this and what's been the impact so far? Well, I think that came from a very personal experience, right? I've got kids and, you know, they struggle to speak my local dialect. Right? Um, and I'm sure there are many young parents like myself who are going through um, that challenge. And we felt that, you know, as Nigerians, as Africans, we must be proud of our culture. Our culture is our identity. Right? And so that's why on the TESAS app today, we have educational content that will teach kids seven major Nigerian languages, Hausa, Igbo, Yoruba, Ibibio, Ijo, Tiv, Benin. We've got it all covered on the app. Now with our videos, we will take the child at least from the basics right all the way to the mid um, competency level on that, on that particular language. And it's working wonders. We've seen children who've never spoken a word of Yoruba now able to at least greet their parents. I mean, I, I have a friend who, who called me up from the US, says, these days I come home, my kids, 
you know, say hello to me, they greet me in the morning when I get back from work in my local dialect. And it's all thanks to TSIS, you know. So we're seeing a lot of um, interest, not just locally, but even in the diaspora, a lot of people who are away from Nigeria, uh, but still want to maintain that connectedness to their home. Uh, because even in Nigeria today, there's a lot of language loss occurring. Imagine when you're out of the country and you can't even meet anyone who speaks your local dialect. The only way you can interact and get access to your local dialect might just be through the TSAS app. So we're really excited about the impact that is having, not just in Nigeria, but across many countries of the world where you have Nigerians. And we have plans to quickly expand that to other languages as well. Is the Nigerian government paying enough attention to the education sector? If the answer is no, then what should the government be doing differently? Well, the reality is when you look at the amount of money we allocate in our national budget to education, uh, it's difficult to say that we're doing enough. But we also have to realize that in a country like ours, a developing country like ours, there are going to be competing priorities for government. We're dealing with insecurity, we're dealing with health issues. So the government is challenged. But here's the thing, with technology, you can really leapfrog some of the structural barriers. And that is why the government needs to refocus on integrating technology into the learning process, into the outcomes they seek to gain, right? If you invest in technology, you can actually break down some of the structural barriers that would drive significant capital expenditure. Now, we do know that with COVID, a lot of people are becoming very comfortable with online education. That is a huge opportunity that the government can build upon to really drive access to education for a lot of children that are in difficult to reach areas, particularly areas in the north. I know in the past we've talked about building our Marjory schools and all of that. That's a good initiative. How about those children are at home, but they can continue their learning journey through online education, access to high-speed internet, access to devices like tablets, access to educational platforms like TESAs that would give them curriculum-aligned content right from their kindergarten all the way through even to secondary school. Those are the kind of initiatives that the government needs to be collaborating with companies like ours to help bridge that gap, because that gap is not going to go away. Right? We're not suddenly going to get um, $100 billion invested in education in one year. That would take a long time to happen, just given what we know with the economic challenges that we face today. What's the future looking like for TESAS as an organization, beginning with your corporate social responsibility, first of all, and then plans to also grow your business? Like I mentioned earlier, we are an impact-driven organization. We believe so very strongly that if we deliver on our commitment, we can truly transform lives across Nigeria and Africa. And that is why we're so excited with the success of the TISAS Donate program so far. We believe from a CSR perspective, that is one program that is truly unique in this country and can really, really unlock value um, for a lot of children that otherwise will not have access to quality education. Uh, when I went to the Living Sense Orphanage and I saw the excitement that you know, those children were exuding just by interacting with a tablet for the first time, interacting with the TSAS app, watching those animated videos, learning their times table on the tablet. That brought so much joy to me, brought so much joy to my team, and just reinforced our commitment to really drive that program really hard. So we'll continue to encourage individuals to donate their tablets, their devices to us, We'll refurbish them and we'll donate them to those children, infuse them with the, with the educational content that we can already provide through the TSAS app. We think it's going to go places. Our commitment every year is to ensure that we reach no less than 10,000 underprivileged children with devices and with the TSAS app for free. Right? We are committing a portion of our revenue to do that because we do not think that doing good as a business and growing the business are mutually exclusive. We think that as a responsible corporate citizen, we must cater for our stakeholders. And the key stakeholder is the community. And we believe very strongly that underprivileged children are part of that community. No child must be left behind. If our mission is truly to liberalize access to quality education, then we must liberalize access to quality education for everyone. Rich, poor, underprivileged, 
everyone must get access to education. So we're committed to that vision. Developing, enshrining that concept in our staff, in our culture, is something I'm truly passionate about. And it's going to continue to be with us as we exist. So we truly believe that TSES has the transformative impact to really make deep changes in the educational system, not just of Nigeria, but across Africa. And that is why we are building out our teams to deliver our content, not just in Nigerian languages, but across African languages as well, Swahili and other kinds of languages. Because the structural challenges we see in Nigeria today are also prevalent in other African countries. But we believe that if we get it right in Nigeria, the largest African country, we will get it right in other African countries as well. So we're really focusing on Nigeria for now. We're building out several exciting products that is focused on developing the total child. That is why the new partnership with Franklin Covey on social emotional learning through the Leader in Me program across schools is one that we're very excited about. Because we believe that if we transform the culture and the environment in schools, ultimately children that go through that schooling process would develop the right leadership abilities, the right collaborative abilities, so we can prevent some of the things that we've seen in recent times, like bullying, like child pornography. Those things should have no place in our schooling system. So one of the new products that we're rolling out um, this month is the entrance exam product. We see a lot of parents want to give their children really top quality education, but even preparing those children for the entrance exams into those schools, the Catholic, the British, the military schools, is a challenge. So what have we done? We've come up with a product that focuses on training the child, preparing them for entrance exams. We've gone through several decades of past questions, identified areas where the children have problems, and we've actually gone in to teach them through the videos, animated videos, tutor-led videos, explaining how to answer those questions, and then give them tons of practice and test questions. And of course, the results from those practice and test questions will be fed to the TSAS parent app. So the parent will know very clearly if their child is ready for the entrance exam for each of those school categories. It's one that we're very excited about and we think will make a huge impact in how children can obviously uh, pass those entrance exams into those top schools. Well, we can never overemphasize the need for quality education because, I mean, it's the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. They say an investment in knowledge always pays the best interest. And that's where we end it on Kaleidoscope for today. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget, you can watch past editions of the program. Go to youtube.com forward slash channels web, click on playlist, then scroll to Kaleidoscope and watch as many editions as you want. I'll see you again very soon. Stay safe. I'm Anne Mwawadu. Thank you for watching.